In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to animate a line which represents a track or trail superimposed on a map. So when you go from point A to point B on the map, you see the trail of the travel animated on the screen. I had a request from a user to ask, how do you do this? Now, there's several different kinds of maps and trails you have to think about. The first one we're going to do is the easy one. That's where it's a straight line from point A to point B on a map. And then in the subsequent tutorial, we'll, we'll get into the more complicated ways where it's not simply one single straight line. But let's assume you're going to fly from somewhere in the southern part of this map to a city in the northern part. Let me show you an example of a finished product. In order to do what you just saw, let me show you one way to approach this kind of technique. I need a map, but I actually need two maps. I need a map that has no markings on it, and then I need another map that has my arrow from point A to point B. Now the second one you can create using another piece of software. I used uh, Photoshop Elements 2018, and uh, that was pretty easy simply to draw a line or you could actually use a color board that you turn into a line and rotate. We have a lesson at Sharper Turtle on how to make uh, lines like this using the color board tool in the media room, if you want to know how to do that. And then the second thing you'd have to do in that case is take a snapshot of it uh, using the icon below the preview screen and that would save that as a, a separate object, graphic object. So you would get your second map that way. So whatever technique you choose is up to you, but we'll assume that you figured out one of the two ways that you can do that. And we have a, a bare map and we have a map with a line on it. That's where we start. Now we're going to take the map with the distance line on it and drag that down into track number one. I'll give myself a bit more room here. We're going to take the second map and drag that down into track number two. And so the one will overlay the other. Now the way to expose the green line sequentially is to use a mask. I put the mask on the higher number track, map number two. I click on that and then I click on designer, mask designer. In some versions of uh, Power Director, you'll find it under PIP Designer in another tab at the top. But on 2016, I'll pick this one, and now we'll add a mask. So I'll take a, the click on the rectangle, that will give me my mask, and I'm going to drag down into the settings, uncheck Maintain Mask Aspect Ratio. That will allow us to make the mask smaller, so we see it's small. It's going to simply cover the line, but right now it's not in the right location. So I'm going to un undo this and we'll rotate it a little bit, just enough so that it covers the green line. Okay, then we'll move it back to where we started. And so now I have my mask. Now I'm going to keyframe the mask. At the beginning of the clip, I want the mask to be all the way uh, totally covering my green line. So I'll click a diamond here. It sets a keyframe at the beginning. Then I'm going to move to the end of the clip and I will set another keyframe. This time all I need to do is move the mask and I'll move it here so it's off the green completely and I'll click on OK. Now if I go ahead and play the clip, what you'll see is it will slowly seem to grow on its own from point A to point B. And what I also need uh, up here is a, is a picture of the mask of the, um, the map without the mask. So I'll simply 
drag it down, make it a little bit longer here. So when this uh, area is done, the mask disappears. But I still have the underlying map there. So that's my map. So now I've done that part. Let me make it just a little bit longer. Okay, the second thing I want to do in this case is I want to have a plane flying on the mask. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and take this, a PNG of a plane. This shows black on black. You'll see it really isn't. And there's my image. So I'll take it and I'll shrink it accordingly. And then we'll uh, rotate it. I'm going to move it over here so I can see where we start out with. And we'll move it and rotate it again. Try to line it up if we can directly with the green line. There we go. Okay. So we'll start with it about here. Make sure we cover any green line with the body of the plane. That's pretty good. And uh, so we'll take the plane. We'll, we'll uh, double click on it. And now we're going to keyframe the plane, hopefully to match the clip. So let's go and we'll set a position, a keyframe for the position here. And we'll go ahead and watch how, how it moves. And then at the end, we're going to take the plane and put a second keyframe on it. Like that. Click on OK. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, not too bad. We could actually freeze it at the end if we wanted to, but our trip's over, so we're good. The next thing I did in this particular example that you saw was I went ahead and I put some locations in there. And uh, I basically used simply my title tool. We'll click those and turn those on. And the next thing I did was I put some music in as well. So now when I'm all finished, I can start my clip, play my movie, and I start with my plane, Denison to Storm Lake. And we have it flying, and then it ends up there. And then we have a little bit of word about how faster it is than driving the same distance between those two cities. And so that's a simple example of how to use it when it goes from point A uh, to point B, and you want to animate a straight line. We'll get into some more complicated ways of doing this in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.